Good day. My name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views, and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos. If so, please subscribe. Welcome back to part two. Roasting the roost. It's a bit roasting the roost. Anyway, um, I've got the veggies done. They're all ready to go. They're all on the tray, uh, waiting to be cooked onto the barbecue. The barbecue now has been turned on. And we're going to basically um, pull it like this. All right. And we'll have a look at it. And we'll put it straight onto the skewer. And we're not going to do anything else to it. Won't need any more marinade. Um, so forth like that. Oh, that looks beautiful. It looks and smells absolutely beautiful. See a little bit of liquid there. So now, it comes a fun part. Trying to get this big beastie on the camera to screw it in. So we're looking around about, if we can see this on the camera, about there. We're doing probably halfway. So we can skewer it. Straight through. It's in a good spot there. Come on. Almost through. Okay, the fat cap's going to be annoying. This could be a little bit annoying here. I'm trying to get it through the fat cap here. I might have to go underneath it maybe. Come on. Mm. Okay. So I've already measured this skewer to the right size. I'm going to have to put this, tap this down here. That's it. Just need that little bit of extra force and something to hold the other one. Now. We've got this loose stuff here. Probably have to cut that off. Maybe we'll just pull off. Yeah. That's no good. That can go to the birds. Um, now, the trick is now we've got to figure out how we're going to hold this with these skewers. And so you can see it going through there. This will also help put heat into the meat. I don't think I'll need more than one skewer. Yeah, let's have a look. turn that around. That's pretty much done. That's the reason why I put that tray there, because we're going to have two things and put rubbish in that onto this plate and just have this on there. Give it a quick clean up later. We need juices like that and stuff like that. I don't think that needs anything else, but that's done anyway. Uh, yeah. I'll take this out into the. Um, bit and of the barbecue and we'll get it ready to go and we'll turn it on and we'll quickly have a look at that. <clears throat> okay, welcome back everyone. Now we'll go throw this onto the uh, barbecue, onto the skewer. Now, jump in front of the camera. Alright, now you can see it's in the right spot there. Um, this is pretty much the hottest part of the barbecue normally. And I can also crank this one up to add extra heat. I'm going to turn this one down when I'm say doing the veggies and I don't need to be overdone. I'm going to turn that down. Now, what I'm do is going to cook that for a little bit. Which I might. Now, I might throw this in straight away. Um, bloody windy, that's the only problem today. It looks like it might rain, which would be fantastic. Um, the time is now four o'clock. I'm hoping this is going to take probably about two hours to cook. That's why the light's on because five, about one past five, the sun will be setting. 
um, but the temperature, it all depends on the ambient temperature too, um, of how much wind it is and how much this licks up like the flames and stuff like that. Like some of the some of the head roasts are ripped down and if you don't take keep an eye on it, the flames will just come up on you to get the whole thing burnt on the outside beyond recognition. I've had that happen to me a couple of times because I was being distracted by doing other things. This time I got the veggies all ready to go. They're pretty much just chuck them underneath. When roast is ready, I chuck them underneath. But we'll throw this in there now. go for half an hour they reckon. Have a quick look at it. That should start heating up and smoke for half an hour so we're not going to worry about that till it stops smoking when the little cup stops smoking. That's when we'll take it out, check the ash and the wood and all that and the ash will go into the ash bucket or go into the garden eventually and all that. So I'll quickly show you when I throw the veggies in um, and every now and then I'm going to come back every well, probably 20 minutes or so I'll come back have a quick look at it see how she's cooking um, make sure there's no flames licking up because from the window I can see if the flames going to be licking up. But this is a fantastic barbecue, fantastic spit. I haven't used a spit for a long time and I wanted something different tonight. But I also want to try to create that smoking flavour in there as well. Like try a bit of apple or something, something different. Anyway, I'll show you when the uh, veggies are on. Okay, welcome back. It's um, 8 to 5 in the evening. Now, you can hear this snapping away. You can actually see that smoke coming out of that. You can actually smell the apple wood. Quite a nice smell. So what we're going to do, put these veggies on. That roast looks absolutely beautiful. You can still keep that there. Now, I've been keeping an eye so it doesn't flare up. Continue that smoke. Now, basically, for one hour, I'm going to continue this there because that will, the colour on that there looks nice. Um, like, for an hour, I'm going to cook this roast and we'll have a poke and have a look at it at 6 o'clock. Um, well, 5.30 in half an hour, we'll take out. We'll turn over the veggies, put some more seasoning on them, and then we'll go from there. But that's getting some nice colour. Now, I've got to leave it a little bit longer, but I'm a bit worried about the flames leaking up and that will get really burnt like some of this you see here has been a little bit burnt there but that's okay that's the fat part so that would just be chopped off and thrown away but anyway uh, let's have a look at that I want this tray now to catch all those juices so all the juices from that roast dripping down will go into that tray and help flavour all that there we go that's 15 past 5 um, let's have a quick look at this I don't want to burn. I want to cook, but I don't want to burn the veggies. Come on, turn out. I'm going to taste of that one. Back to the the seasoning. I'm going to turn this down because that's a little bit too hot for the um, spice. It's getting crispy, but it's getting a bit too crispy, which is annoying because I want to I want to crisp it up, but I don't want to um, overdo it. Like it's slightly burnt, as far as I'm concerned. It's a lot harder doing it on a barbecue. Some of these, look at that colour there.
see the colour of that some of this some of these veggies are getting really really dark, which is good. Now take one more and I want to test one more. I'm trying to find one pretty short. Sure. Keep that one out, might have a taste test of that and I'll put some more of our uh, Texas tea bone. A light sprinkle because you only just want the flavour in there. You want to get that saltiness and you want to get a little bit of flavour in there. What I might do is turn on the side there and get that part cooked. So skin will, is going to get it nice no matter how you do it. So I just want to get the extra flavour into there with that extra bit of rub. I will turn this down though to low because pretty much the veggies are cooked. Just want to cook that meat and get that right colour and the right tenderness. We'll have a check in about oh, another ten minutes or so. We'll check the um. Get a, we'll just get a damn temperature gauge. And we'll have a quick check of the temperature. Okay, we've got a little thermometer here. And we stop this. It's still a bit firm for my liking. And we just check the temperature. Don't know if we've got to see it on here, but the eternal temp is saying it's 168. Some part seems really soft to go in too. <laughs> this gives me an idea. Let's try here. <clears throat> I don't want to overdo these veggies. I want them to get flavour in that there. First of all, I'll take the spuds and all that out and just leave the tray there. It's saying it's 162. I'm also looking at the juices coming out of here. Seeing if the juices um, are clear or not. I've got a feeling they're not clear yet. And, uh, I'm going to have to crank the temperature back up. And take a bit. When the spuds are ready, they'll be ready. Um, simple as that. <laughs> oh, we'll be back. Okay, it's almost half past five. Some uh, of these veggies are pretty much done, so what I'm going to do is take them all out, drop them onto another tray, um, and then put this tray into the oven, keep it warm while the roast is ready, getting ready. So there's still flavour here. So you put the, um, the oven on and hopefully that will warm up and keep all our veggies warm. Catch at that, but that's pretty much all our veggies done. 
absolutely beautiful. They smell nice. Um, I think those garlics are. Oh, those garlics should be. Now, I would do the garlic with skin on, like that. Mm. Oh, that's hot. A little crunch from the outside. A little bit come. And soft. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the oven. Um, let it sit. Let it sit till the um, roast is ready. Okay, welcome back. The time is 19 to 6 in the evening. Now I've got a feeling this is ready. Um, let's see how it looks. Pan juices at the moment. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we're going to take this off now. Um, all we do here is turn off the gas. We want to get this now off that. Could be. Okay. Come off this one. Not that easy. Still a bit red, is it? Nah, we should be okay. That's it. That sounds good. Now, um, next step with my glove, just in case it will burn my hand. What we're going to do is drop it onto this tray over here. And I'll use this glove because these are heat resistant. Okay. Let's position this right so we can get the the little the tag they've got. The little nut thing we've got down here. Okay. I'm gonna take that inside and let it rest. Um, and then we'll go from there. This I'll pull apart later when it cools down. And when it cools down, I'll pull apart that and um, that will all go into the dishwasher. So we'll have a look at it carved up next. Okay, welcome back. Now I should allow this to rest, but I want to carve a couple of pieces off it and have a look at it. Um, and we'll see how we go from there. And we'll do a quick video of it on the plate. With that now it actually tasted quite nice, and the smoke actually comes through too. A little bit. Oh, that's nice. It's pretty much well done, most of it, and it's got a little bit of pinkness there. I should allow it to sit and rest a bit more, which I will do. And that looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. This one here. It's a little bit of colour into it. And it's okay. Because I want to. Well, let that sit. Right. Um, we'll let that rest for a while. It tastes nice. It smells good. Oh. Into our next break. Another word mix, of course. Laps. That's perfect. Well, that's perfect. Okay, now this is all cut up. Um, I've got some garlic in here, I've got a bit of carrot, I've got some onion, a couple of spuds. For Jerry, um, he's across the road, he's a 91 year old German bloke. So I'll give him some and then I'll come back and carve up my own. Um, and I'll go from there. It smells fantastic, tastes absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, anyway, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.